It's the show that has got everybody talking. And last night, there was a big surprise on the traitors. <gasps> there were tears, Amanda! There were tears, Ranveen, yes. Oh, my goodness me. Amanda, I this know. is your first interview since being banished from the it castle. Um, talk us a, through that moment, because there'll be lots of people who haven't seen the show, so we'll go back to the beginning in a minute, right. but just reflecting on what we've just seen there. I mean, it's oh. just a show. It's just, you know, it, it's just a game, except the emotions are so high. Well, the smaller the group gets, um, obviously, the closer your relationships get with people. So, being a traitor, oh you're playing a faithful all day, 16 hours a day, um, because you Somebody want who's to, honest. Yes, yeah, someone who's honest. You don't want them thinking you're a traitor. So, um, you know, they really believe in you, connect with you, and they, they just don't want you to be that person who's going around who's murdering going to betray them yes, yes. and who's murdering yeah everybody. in the night yes, i mean yes. what i i mean let's just go back so what was that first murder decision like as in there's the three traitors it's the first time you've got mm. to decide essentially who you're going to take the winnings off you know, this person yes. will have no chance of no getting chance. close to 120 yep. life-changing amount of money yes um at that point, you didn't know everybody that well. Was it easier or harder as time went on to know who to murder? It was... No, in the beginning, it was much easier. It was we easier hadn't the formed alliances yeah. and we hadn't formed relationships with people. So um, it was just the strongest characters and we had to eliminate the, the strongest characters. Why? Char Explain because why. Because people would gravitate to them. And what's that? why is that a problem for the game? Um, because we had to control the game. So we didn't want... Um, these strong characters, their opinions, to go through because if they all said, the contestants, you know, Amanda's acting a bit weird. Yeah. Immediately, yeah, everybody... they would have. Yeah, grab, yes. it's like um, herd mentality, isn't Do you know it? What yeah. is real, and it's exactly that. Yeah. What's yeah. absolutely fascinating. I've only watched a couple yeah. of the episodes at the moment. So the thing is, a lot of people will have heard about it, and not quite watched it, right? Yes. So, but obviously, millions yeah. of people are watching it, yes. which is why yeah. we're talking to you because it's yeah. a huge hit. Yeah. Is that everybody? thinks that they have got life experience either they've had a psychology degree or they worked in the police or they you know yeah. uh, you know they're used to working with them yeah. and picking up where your people's body language yes, all of yeah, this yeah. but it turns out when you're in that room and you're deciding who to banish as a group yeah. like herd mentality one person says thing everybody no everybody just everybody just on. get yeah i think everybody was so scared because they wanted to stay in the game that Everybody just went with the majority all the time. So that's why we had to eliminate the strong characters who people would follow. And what was brilliant was, I think, in one of the very first episodes, somebody said, well, I mean, just too often, Amanda, I mean, I think if you were the traitor, I mean, we'd just know straight away because you just, you wear your heart on the sleeve. Mm. And they just thought they'd had, they knew you, you know, they, they thought knew they knew the yes. character. Yeah. And what was it about your life, about the stories you were telling, that made them think that you weren't the traitor? Well, I think... You know, generally, we all wear a mask at some time, don't we? You know, we all have bad days or we, you know, we we don't feel like getting up in the morning or, you know, you can go through life like that and you get up, you put your makeup on, you put your uniform on, you go to work and you play that role. And I think um, having the... five children and yes. five grandchildren... They just yes. thought, Grandma! Yes, Grandma! Sweet, mum. innocent, yes. mum, kind, yes. big heart. Yeah, yeah. They were wrong. And I mean, I'm sure you're a lovely woman. <laughs> but listen. But they didn't expect that. Did they, they did not expect that. No. Now, uh, how has life been? Because presume, this is the first series. You had no idea how no idea. big this show was no. going to get. I was going on a holiday. What's life you know? like now for um, you, Amanda? Well, yeah, it's a bit crazy, really. It's a bit lovely and crazy. Um, People recognising you. Yes, in the airport. We've just come back from Rome and I had um, selfies with people in the airport, in a restaurant out there. Um, out in yeah, Rome? Yeah, out in Rome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, British people yeah. on holidays, yeah. It was like, oh, are you Amanda from the Treaters? Yes, what I am. Yes, I am. Yeah. That is yeah. incredible. Yeah. Are, you, um, are you enjoying it? At oh, the I'm enjoying it. And do you know, it's been to be called an icon of the gay community is just absolutely <laughs> wow. fantastic. You know, it's, yeah, it's just, I am loving the love. And I love yeah. how you're just casually wearing an evil green cape, well, as though this is now your look. I was going to give you a morning kiss, but I thought my kisses can be oof, a little bit fatal. Fatal. Yeah. Yes. Fate. I, <laughs> this is it. I think you'll be in panto this time yeah. next year, won't you? Is it? 
Okay, wicked. Wait, absolutely fantastic. Outstanding yeah. in the show. And, you know, just like defying all the expectations yeah. of what they think a grandma yes. and mum would yes. be. I mean, that's yeah. brilliant. Yes. Uh, lovely stuff. The Traitors continues tonight at 9pm on BBC One.